everyone, my name is Angelina. I'm a vocal coach and I help people achieve the voice they want in a holistic and functional manner. Today I have three breathing exercises for you that are going to totally transform your voice. Before we start, I want to invite you to download my 20 minute voice and breath free lesson. You can do that from the description below. Go ahead and download it now. So the first exercise that I wanted to show you today, I call it a wings exercise. This exercise is used to build resilience, to increase your breath capacity, but in my students, I use it specifically to help them train a super, super important skill for singers, which is the ability to take quick breaths through the mouth without any noise. Now, when you sing songs, that is how you breathe. You breathe through the mouth. Usually, singers don't train this ability, and so they are singing songs and they end up breathing like this. And singing from there is much harder, especially if you want to do complicated and fancy things. So this exercise, little by little, starts training you for that. The exercise goes like this. I'm gonna describe it first, and then we're gonna do it together. We are going to breathe in as we open our arms to the sides and we're going to exhale as we close the arms back down. The important thing here is that we are going to coordinate the inhaling with the movement of the arms up, which means we're going to take the whole movement to breathe in. We are not going to breathe un until here and then hold. And we are going to coordinate the exhale with the movement of the arm down, which means we're going to take the whole amount of time that we have to excel and not less. So it's gonna go like this. We're gonna do all these repetitions without stopping. First, we're going to go breathe in in eight counts, exhale in eight counts. Then we do inhale in four counts and exhale in eight counts. So we always exhale in eight. Inhale in two counts, exhale in eight. Inhale in one count, exhale in eight. And then in a snap. Inhale in a snap and then we exhale in eight. So let's try that together more or less one second each. If you have to use a timing, I'm, sure I'm not gonna use it right now, but it's gonna be more or less accurate. When I say inhale, I'm going to not be inhaling because I'm gonna be counting, but you inhale as I count. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, inhale in four, two, three, four, exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So the last one is the hardest one. When I didn't do it, I just counted, but you try that all those inhalings are noiseless. So when you go eight counts, you go and so on. And when you do short breaths like this, snappy one, also no noise. If you can do this every day, then you can apply it to the songs and your breathings are gonna be much, much better for you to sing easily. Second breathing I wanted to show you today is low back breathing. In singing, it's really important to develop the ability of expanding your low back when you inhale. This is super important because it's the most functional, organic and healthy way to naturally bring your larynx down without pushing it which brings you the best results in your voice. There are many ways that you can activate the low back breathing. Usually we have that a little bit locked because our pelvis is not neutral. So we usually like that or like that. And the lumbar vertebras usually don't have a lot of space in between. So one exercise that you can use to find your low back breathing is if you bring your hips towards the wall and your shoulders, then you are here. You keep on touching the wall with your hips and your shoulders forever, for the whole exercise, the head, very important. Everybody, when I teach this exercise, they go, no. Then that's not good for your voice. Just keep your head free. High. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to get rid of the gap between the low back and the wall for this exercise. So you can start walking a little bit forward, bending your knees and using the tilt of the pelvis to stretch your low back, make it a little bit longer. And once you have done that, you can bring your fingers to your back and when you inhale, inhale in a relaxed manner, no noise. 
and you might find that you already can feel some expansion in your lower back. If you have never sensed your lower back breathing, the expansion might be very small. If you have never worked with these exercises or if you, you know, have a hyperlordosis or something like that. If you have worked with your body before in, you know, how you have done, done any movement techniques, you might find that that's already quite available to you. So it is a really good exercise to combine with your vocal warm-ups. Use it to inhale right before you sing. Finally, the last exercise I wanted to show you today is the arms up exercise. This is one of the first exercises that I teach people because it works 100% of the time. You are going to be breathing in while you open your arms to the sides and then you're going to be singing here. This, you have to do this exercise with some sounds. So you, for example, can choose a song that you want to work with and you take the music away of course, because we are going to be working with this slowly and take a phrase of the song and every time you have to take a breath for the song, previously you do the exercise, you can also use it to do your vocal warm-ups. What you're going to do is you're going to inhale and at the same time you're going to bring your arms to a 90 degree angle with the palms facing up the ceiling, like this. When you breathe, try to not get, make any noise and make sure that you are not bringing your shoulders up keep your shoulders down. So not this. It's just the arms. Once you are there, you sing. Very important here is that you don't hold the breath in between. So for example, if you're going to sing a uh, glissando, ooh, you breathe in, and as soon as you go up, you sing your sound. Ooh, and what this exercise does is, First of all, because you are inhaling at the same time that your reps are expanding, you are bringing the air to a much safer place for singing. And because you're keeping the arms up when you're singing, you are developing the scale of keeping your external intercostals engaged when you exhale, which is very important for your breath support. If you like this content, go ahead and subscribe. If you want to learn these methods in an integral way, right from scratch or to advanced level, I have a new program you, and you can find all about it in the description below.